Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Johnny here, taking a look at 16.8 problems. We want to look at a relationship between KA and KB. Basically, we want to be able to convert between the two, which isn't all that difficult, so then we got a few problems. All right, one, base dissociation constant KB for pyridine, given by that formula, is this. The acid dissociation constant KA for the pyridinium ion is blank. All right, well, there's a simple equation that we got to know. It's KA times KB has to equal... KW. So, piece of cake. We know KW at, uh, is 10 to the minus 14. So, we know KW. Uh, they give us the KB, so we got to figure out KA. So, we know KA equals KW over KB. Plug in the numbers. KW is 10 to the minus 14. KB is at 1.4 times 10 to the minus 9. And what do we get? The answer 7.14 times 10 to the minus 6. That's it. That's it. 2 is just similar to number 1. They give us Ka. They want Kb. We know, all right, well, Ka has to equal the Kw over the Kb. So it's just a plug and chug. 10 to the minus 14 all over the Kb, which is, uh, actually, I missed these, mixed these two up, right? We're solving for Kb, and they give us Ka. So it, it's going to be pretty similar, but just different. Ka, they give us is this number. So let's plug and chug. And we get an answer of 2.04 times 10 to the minus 5. And then we got number 3. Ka for HF is this. What is the Kb for, for fluoride? Just the ion. So again, we want Kb. It's going to equal to Kw over Ka. Uh, so it's 10 to the minus 14 all over. That's 7.0 times 10 to the minus 4, which is going to give me the answer of 1.43 times 10 to the minus 11. All right, so a helpful formula to remember is the Kw equals Ka times the conjugate acid or base Kb. So that's it. See you in class. Bring questions.